How you been? Uh, it's, uh, I know you and I have a little, talked a little bit offline, but it's yeah. been, a, it's been a rough, like three weeks, my friend. It has it's been a rough, I, I understand. Um, it, it's not just us. You had, you guys have, you had a rough couple of weeks yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It was, um, kind of a story there. Maybe I'll tell you about it another day, but so 25 days, brother. 25. Yeah. 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 So what's on anything left to do? Um, you know, there's only, uh, the only thing that's kind of, so last September I did something and I call it just getting old. I think I broke my caucus or I, I fractured it or because it's been five months now and I'm, I'm barely to the point where I can sit. I've gone in, I've had an MRI, they tried the injections and the problem is the job I have now, so much of it is sitting and so it's not given a chance to heal. Um, the only time it feels really good is when you're going to love this, bro. The only time it feels good is when I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just been very, it's been very frustrating. So that's the only thing that's kind of nagging me right now is this, this pain when I sit. So, so all your prep stuff is done. No more things to buy. No, no. Nope. Today actually we're setting up the tent and we're laying, it's, just, it's, it's cold. It's, 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 it's in its low forties here in Salt Lake, but it's sunny. So we're going to, after this interview, we're going to, we're going to set up everything. I'm actually sitting on the front porch. So I point out to the yard. We're going to set up the tent. We're going to set up everything. And I'm going to, I'm going to give it a good couple of coats of uh, permethrin for the yeah. ticks and the bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Spray down my clothes and let those air dry. But other than that, man, we are, we, we did our taxes. I pulled some cash out of the bank. Um, other than making sure the sprinkler systems work here in about another month, we're good to go. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Yeah. Excited. A little bit. I, 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 I'm, yeah, it's very hard to. I'm 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 ready to go right now because yeah. up here I've already I've already left and I really I really felt that yesterday at work. Um, I work Monday through Thursday. Yesterday at work, I, I just realized I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm just kind of dead baggage here, and I'm I'm not one to not do my job, but right. I'm, up here I'm just I'm ready yeah. to I'm ready to kiss the wife and Sid goodbye and and just and just go. Um, but like I said, we've got some rides arranged and some things, uh, you know, Space Pants has still coordinate some stuff up there in Washington. And so, you know, we can't speed it up at all, but yeah. I'm ready to, I'm ready to hit this thing and um, start, you know, kick the tires and light the proverbial. Yeah. Let's we'll see what happens. Uh, expectations. So I, I, was, I was thinking about that the other day. Yeah. Um, when I did it first, you know, it was just the CT, 500 miles, you know. Um, but when I went out again to do another longer hike, say it was 100 and some miles, it just felt different. Um, and maybe just because it was a shorter hike, I didn't make a big deal of it or whatever. But um, how are you feeling about, like, your second big hike? Is it is – it, is it, I know it's different in some ways, you know, yeah. because, uh, you know, we, we talked about that before, but – what are your expectations here? What do you, you know what? Um, I, I'm glad you brought that up big, big, but, but let's look at it this way. In reality, I would call this my third big hike. Okay. Cause I did 1157 miles of the PCT True. Yeah. Yeah. in 2018, got off due to family illness, the fire, the trail closure, whatever it was. Then I went back in 2019 and did the remaining 20, you know, the 20, the full, the remaining, whatever it was, 15, 1600 miles, whatever it was. Um, so I, I had that worry when I went back the second time. Is okay. it going to live up to the magical? The, am, am I, am, you know, am I going to fall in love with this all over again? And and to be honest, man, it took about two days on the trail, and it, it <sighs> felt like I had never left. That was it. I kind of have a feeling this is going to be the same. I, I really do. The train, it's not going to be all too terribly different than starting out in Campo. Quite yeah. honestly, yeah. I mean. Uh, same Mexican American border, same little kind of monument thing. Um, I am starting out with a couple of familiar faces, at least for a little while. Uh, we talked about that a little bit. I've got pretty much all the same gear except some upgrades. Some things are maybe a different color, but it's, it, I just, I have a feeling that um, give me two or three days out on there and it's going to feel very similar. I hope so. I, yeah. I hope, I hope I have that same love affair with this strip of dirt than I did with that strip. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's that's the bad thing about falling in love with a trail like the 
the, the PCT, if that was your first or the AT, if that was your, you're always going to compare that to your, your first love, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I, I really hope it, 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 uh, I hope it lives up to that. I, I think it will. Um, you know, the, 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 the sappy mushy part of me says, you know, the trail is what you make it. Right. And, and that, that is very, very true. But, um, you know, you know, we'll see as far as expectations, you know, I, I got so lucky in 2018 and 2019 middle-aged overweight. When I started pack was too heavy. I got so lucky that I didn't have a, a major injury. Yeah. I, I was reading a blog just last night of a young gal, triple crowner on one of the Pacific, uh, the CDT, um, Facebook pages. And she's, you know, going for the, I think she's going for the double triple quite honestly. I think that's what it was mid twenties, very fit. And she's announcing that, uh, due to, due to catastrophic injury, she's off the trail in Lord's oh. Well, that's what 80 miles. Yeah. And, uh, this is somebody who's younger, has more, even more experience than I yeah. do. And so as to expectations, I am taking this one step at a time. One of the major disappointments from 2018 is in my mind and vocally and on my vlog, man, I'm going to Canada. And when that didn't happen due to unforeseen events that are much more important than hiking right. a trail, I came home and I felt defeated. Um, the people that live right across the street, uh, good friends of ours, they asked me, so how far did you go? And I said, well, I only went 1157 miles and I kind of bowed my head in shame. <sighs> Oh my gosh, you went 57 <laughs> miles, you know, da, 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 da. Uh, you know, so those feelings are self-imposed, but man, injury, economic problems, and family problems at home, uh, you know, in 2019, who would have guessed COVID would have shut down the world, let alone yeah. all three trails. Anything can happen. Right. So I'm going out there with the expectation that I'm just going to do my best every day. And if I make it to Lordsburg and something happens, then it is what it will. I'd be disappointed. Absolutely. If I make it to Wyoming and some, if I make it all the way to Canada, it, every, every step will be a success. And that's the way you have to look at it because so much is out of your control. It really is. Yeah. That's how I'm looking at it. And I have to tell people here, like at my new job where I'm at, they're just, they, they're enamored with this. They think it's great. And they're going to, they're marking the stuff down on the calendar. <laughs> I got it. I got to tell them, say, look, here's the thing. Um, first of all, don't think I'm absolutely set and positive going from A to Z straight up like this, the, especially with this Continental Divide Trail. There may be flip flopping. And so I've got to explain to that what it is, you know, um, and then I'm explaining to them, there's a good chance I may not finish this whole trail this year. And, you know, and, and at first they kind of get this let down look on their face, but then yeah. I explain it. So I'm just I more for myself, but also my friends, my loved ones, my family, for viewers. You gotta, people got to understand so much can happen that you yeah. literally just have to take every day one step at a time and roll the proverbial dice. You know, in 2018, watching little go, John go down one, one step and then his Achilles snaps. A young buck went down the mountain, one wrong step and his, his ankle was done. Um, when Chef tripped, uh, you know, one step and she's off trail for a month and a half. On a trail like this, you're off the trail for a month and a half. There goes the through. One thing we haven't talked about is, is your food, your diet. What do you eat out there? Is it just like, give me calories and let me go? Or is it? Uh, is uh, I mean, it, it is, but it's, but it's not. Um, you're, you know, there's, uh, so weight is huge. And I'm not talking about this weight. I, you know, <laughs> and so I, I never forget when I started the PCT, I was hiking and this young German gentleman came up. I can't even remember his name. And he, we pulled up the proverbial rock together and in broken English and um, I speak no German. So we're having a hard time communicating, but I'll never forget. He, he pulled out a loaf of bread, a full thing of peanut butter in a glass container, a full <laughs> thing of uh, j uh, jam uh, preserves in a glass container. And then he pulled out a big kitchen butter knife. <laughs> and, and I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm pretty new, but that guy, <laughs> I mean, he's got so much weight in just those two items. Um, and, 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 and sadly enough, that gentleman didn't do much more of the, I think he did maybe another hundred miles and, you know, he was home. Um, but you look for food that is, you know, lightweight and you, any through hiker, some of the staples are ramen, um, peanut butter packets, olive oil, tuna fish, not in the cans, but in the, in the tin bag baggies, 
um, the flour tortillas, like for taco flour tortillas, you know, there's your, there's your, your, your bread group. And, uh, you know, for me, candy bars that aren't really susceptible to melting, um, that type of a thing. Uh, it is not a healthy diet by any means. Um, in fact, quite, it's quite the contrary, but it's lightweight. It's easy to fix. And when you're done, you're, you don't have a lot of waste to pack out. You got to weigh all those things. And, you know, ramen, one of the tricks with ramen is you don't just carry the individual bags of ramen. You open them all up and you put them in a one gallon Ziploc freezer right. and then you, you break it. So they're all in just little pieces. Then you just throw all the flavor mixes in there and you've got, you know, 15 or 20 ramen packs and you just know when it's time to eat, you get your two cups of boiling water, one cup of ramen, and then pick out what flavor. Pack. You don't have any waste. You don't have any garbage to throw away. Oh. You know, in ramen, you get about 380 to 400 calories per serving. And then you, you get a thing of tuna and stick it in there and throws a couple, up a couple hundred calories in there with some protein. And then the absolute cream on the cake is you got to get yourself a little thing, a, a tapatio hot sauce and sprinkle it. <laughs> You're golden. That's pretty much my staple out there. That those The nor pasta sides. Yeah. Yep. The, the bags they come in, you can always burn. They fold up. They're lightweight. You can throw them away later. So yeah. nor pasta sides, ramen, tuna, that type of stuff. And a lot so, of candy bars. So a little bit of thought to nutrition, but um, weight is an equal factor, I suppose, right? Yeah. yeah. Say, I, I won't try to convince anybody it's healthy. Yeah. But the fact that you're burning so many calories, um, quite honestly, you could probably eat radioactive waste out there. <laughs> <laughs> You'd probably burn it out pretty quick. So, so I, I forgot the guy's name, but he was uh, uh, fastest known time for the Appalachian Trail at one point, and he, and he owned the record for like a couple of weeks or something before someone else. But, but he, um, he was he was on a supported trip, and literally he had beer and pizza for that whole trip. That's all he ate. <laughs> and so after that, I, I I I talked to a sports nutritionist that I knew. I said, I said, how does that make sense? And he went into a long explanation about, you know, how that's probably not all that bad of an idea. <laughs> but I, but I was losing so much weight so fast. I got a hold of Allie and it became an, it started to become an issue about Northern California. Huh. She, she talked to a nutritionist friend of ours uh, and all this person could really say is, look, you're just going for, for calories and quantity at this point. Don't worry yeah. about quality because it's not a prolonged lifestyle. We're talking yeah. just a few months. Right. And so I was, I was, I was eating 10 to 12 Snickers a day Hello. Uh, to do with the, the caramel, the nougat, the chocolate, the peanuts. It was kind of the, the it was the best of the worst. And, right. and, and I was, I was eating about 13 of those a day just to make <laughs> my weight. Cause it got to where you could start to see the outline of ribs. Yeah. Yeah. Which I mean, it felt great. My clothes fit really good. <laughs> it's not sustainable. <laughs> So I know some people have been uh, asking about how they can help. And um, so what's the best way they can do that? You know, so when I was on the Pacific Crest Trail, I had a gentleman um, send me some clothes and he sent them from Switzerland and they were waiting. I can't even remember, it was somewhere in Southern Oregon or Northern California. And it was such a nice thought, but um, those type of things just don't work because now I've got this hat um, and I've got this shirt that I will never wear on the trail. So now I've got to figure out a way to get it home. And then I had another, some police friends of mine, I had them send me some food boxes. I want to say that was in Tehachapi. Well, that's a resupply joint. That there's Tehachapi is a town. So I'd, I'd already bought my resupply and the food they sent me was, you know, not the, trail food. It was the peanut butter, you know, in the glass. <laughs> in the and so, and I've had, a, I've had a, not a lot, but there's been a few people reach out um, since my blog. We're starting to get, you know, I'm going to be doing a gear review, uh, what's in my pack video this weekend. Hopefully get that out by Monday or Tuesday. We've had a few people reach out to me or my wife on uh, Facebook Messenger and uh, asking how can they help and how, how can they help. And it, it's hard because I, 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 you cannot send me clothes. You cannot send me food because the clothes I wear is very specific and I've already got it. And it's certain it's geared towards certain yeah. parts of the trail. Even the food is very, very specific as we've discussed. So then there's this little lady in my neighborhood. She's about six houses down, little, uh, little old lady, not a little lady, a little older lady. She's much more wiser than me. She's about <laughs> 30 years my senior. 
bless her heart, she brought over $20 and gave it to Allison. And Allison put it in an envelope and put it in my next resupply box. And I'm not asking. If, if I needed people's money, I wouldn't be doing this. But if people, those that just really want to feel like they're a part of it, that is the best way. Because then I can take that $20 and that $20 might mean the difference between me staying in a hostel or getting my own room in a town or going to Arctic Circle or going to a steakhouse. So the best way for people to support other than the trail angels giving rides and that type of thing on that corridor is just a little bit of this. And, and I feel really weird, David, even saying that. Oh. because I, I don't need it, but I've also been in their shoes and I've, I've helped people that didn't need it because it really makes you feel like you're part of it. And it makes it just, it, it's more for the people donating than the individual getting it. So I totally understand. Oh. Oh. So that's what I'm telling people. If people want to help, if they have this, this gnawing desire and it's just, they can't lose sleep, they're losing sleep, <sighs> then get a hold of Allison on Facebook messenger. You can coordinate with her. And 10 bucks in an envelope, 20 bucks in an envelope. Like I said, I, I might be able to afford a steak dinner versus, uh, you know, a, a, an Arctic circle when I get into my next trail. Right. Yeah. That's the best way. Um, Perfect. It, it, it's not heavy. It doesn't weigh. And it gives me, I may need a new sleeping bag or I may need a new pair of shoes when I, and that, that, that little bit helps right there. Right. Right. Whatever. And I've got some, I've got some followers from different parts of the world that are, that I got the best followers in the world. <laughs> I want to put that out publicly. So, um, yeah, I, I get a lot of support. People are very kind. Well, this year, the mantra is not to live out loud. This year, the mantra is dare to dream. So that's what we're going with. All right. Dare to dream. We'll be on, that'll be ahead <laughs> of all the videos coming out. Dare to dream. Excellent. Dare to dream is the fat man walks across America. <laughs> dream about not being a fat man walking across the desert. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for you, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So, so while you're out on the trail, of course, people can go to YouTube. Is there any other place that uh, they could go to track you, or how do you? How would so, you like them to keep an yeah, eye on so, you? Uh, anybody that uh, anybody can friend request me on Facebook. Yeah, so it's just under Jason Ashment, A S H M E N T, and then I have an Instagram account that is Fish Tank Treks. So Fish Space Tank Space Treks. And then again, uh, the the YouTube the YouTube channel and the YouTube channel is uh, I, I know it's silly I have to look it up but it's uh, it's fish tank treks as well. When I have the opportunity, I will do Facebook lives, you know, here and there, uh, you know, uh, when I have signal. But for the most part, it's going to be the videos that my wife puts out. Um, if I if I'm in town, I will link the video in the Facebook. But if someone wants to follow, you know, religiously follow along, their best bet's to subscribe so they get those updates on them. And press that little bell on the side, right? Yes, yeah. You know, <laughs> if you want the thumbs up and hit the bell. Instagram, right. Facebook, and uh, and YouTube. And and and, and I check my uh, Facebook Messenger messages and my wife's. You can always contact her as we've talked before. And her name is Allison with a Y, A S H M E N T, and that's on Facebook Instant Messenger. And, and I just, before we're done, I just want to, I just, I've said it before. I'll say it many times again. The best part about hiking isn't that 18 inch wide, 2,650 or, or 2,200 mile trail. It's, it's the people you meet and uh, the friendship we've developed and, and kindled. Uh, like I said, this, this is why we do what we do. And I just want to thank you for reaching out originally. And, yeah. and uh, I love watching the videos. Um, I love sharing your videos. I, I love watching your other videos that I'm a subscriber. So <laughs> it, it's just, it, you know, life is too short for us to just get up, go to work, come home. Yeah. It's, a, it's about getting outside of your comfort zone. It's living out loud and it's daring to dream. And, uh, and I just, I really appreciate our friendship and, and this association. And I look forward to seeing you somewhere at least once on the uh, on the Colorado Trail slash CDT. Um, I don't know if anyone knows out there, but uh, Jason and I have never met. We're just this internet business. internet friends. Uh, this kind of stuff, so. Yeah, so it, it'll be great to meet you in person when you, when you get out here to the uh, God's know. country, you know. <laughs> it will be ple my pleasure to meet you. Um, it's, uh, it's always cool, you know, these friendships that are made in today's social media world that didn't exist, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah, just a huge shout out to everybody out there. 
that supports uh, me and all the other through hikers. Um, it's going to be a wild ride this year. I, I don't know how far I'll get, but the videos are going to be, they're going to be epic. They're going to be fun. They're going to be family friendly. They're going to be educational, but it's just, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting stoked. It's, it's starting, starting to feel it. Dare to dream, buddy. Dare to dream. <laughs> all right, buddy. Take care of yourself. We'll be in touch. We'll see you on all trail, right. everybody. You bet. See you. All right.